Hey, well, good afternoon. You're on with Big J. And you know what time it is. It's time to talk sports, news, and the information. Don't forget at 4 o'clock today, we have a financial concierge coming on to talk about finances. That's Vayan Steele. She's good. She's very good. So don't forget at 4 o'clock today, we're going to have a financier come on and talk about how to manage your finances, even down to your life insurance, to make sure you have proper coverage for your family. Let's talk. I want to talk about the Clippers. And, and what I want to say is this. I believe in the first two games against the Suns, they were just tired. That's my opinion. But I'm telling you something about Ty Lu, And a lot of people underestimate Ty Lu because they're looking at him as a coach as though he does not have experience. But he has playoff and championship experience as a coach and as a player. That means a lot. See, the Clippers were tired those first two games against the Suns, just coming off against Utah, and he knows that. So what he has to do now, as the team comes home, prepare them, get their energy level right, they get to sleep in their own beds, they get to th do those things which are conducive, so they'll see it favorable as they take it to the next level. I'm excited about what's about to take place because I know Ty Lue will have them ready to go. A lot of people only remember Ty Lue for uh, our boy Allen Iverson stepping over him after he crossed him over. No, Ty Lue is actually a good coach. The Lakers made a mistake by not taking him. But what I think is he didn't want any more. He was tired of LeBron James. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. That's my opinion. No, he was tired of LeBron James, in my opinion. Um, Ty Lue suffers from some mental health also with depression and other things. But yet, when it comes to his job as a coach, he's dynamic with X's and O's. I truly love what he does to the team. If you notice that um, the players on the Clippers, especially, um, uh, man, Tyrese Mann, he didn't show up like that last game. That's why you can't depend on rookies. Didn't show up missing in action. Um, everyone else was missing in action except um, Paul George, who had a dynamite game. Paul George, in average for those two games, about 26, 27 points, um, about six rebounds, and maybe uh, five assists. So as a small forward, he was playing very good, exceptionally good. So I'm excited about that. But again, let's see what happens when they get the opportunity to rest. Hey, do me a favor. Make sure everyone, make sure that you have already subscribed to our channel. And if you have not, now is the opportunity. Go back and hit that red button. Then go to the bell so and hit that bell so you'll be notified when we upload new content. But again, I just want to come on and say, the Clippers are in a good place and in a good position because of their coach. All right? So at the end of this, you know what I'm going to say. Be the best, and the best you will become. Have an amazing day. You've been on with Big J. Let's talk. Don't forget to go by D Max page and subscribe. That's D E A C O N Mac M A C K, Deacon Mac. Go by there. We're trying to get to 100 subs on his page expeditiously. Help us out. We know you would. We appreciate you so much. Have a great day.